Baker from Maryland joining several senators to top the scale in favor of the agreement. No deal is perfect, especially one negotiated with the Iranian regime, Mikulski said in a statement on Wednesday, bringing relief to the Obama administration, which is now preparing to sign off from the presidency on a high note of delivery on one of the most important promises made during the beginning of its eight-year tenure in 2008. Tech Iran around on the nuclear issue. The deal hammered by the United States along with five other countries, Britain, China, France, Germany and Russia, with Iran was welcomed by the world, barring some conservatives in the United States and Israel that nurtures doubts over the efficacy of the accord and preventing Tehran from acquiring nuclear weapons. On her part, Senator Mikulski explained her reason for support, stating that the joint comprehensive plan of action was the best option available to block Iran from having a nuclear bomb, and it was for these reasons she favored the deal. That the Obama administration worked closely with party members on the Capitol Hill was reported in the American media, with the prestigious New York Times reporting last week that about a dozen or so undecided Democrats met on the hill with senior diplomats from the five countries who told them that the nuclear agreement with Iran was the best they could expect and these five world powers had no intention of returning to the negotiating table. The newspaper quoted Democrat Senator Chris Coombs, who represents Delaware, saying they, the diplomats from five countries, basically said unanimously this is as good a deal as you could get and we are moving ahead with it. We were clear and strong that we will not join you in reimposing sanctions. This must have weighed as part of the calculations for the undecided Democrats to take a stand, perhaps aware that even though there is clamor in the U.S. for sanctions, the other five countries that were part of the pact would not go along now. As the United States is preparing to elect a new president in November 2016, the Republican candidates aspiring to win a nomination to challenge Democrats have been raising the new clear deal and voicing opposition to it. For instance, Republican presidential candidate hopeful Rick Perry was quoted as saying that he would pair it, the nuclear deal, up upon the first day of his presidency, while real estate magnate Donald Trump reckoned that the Iranians are going to take parts of the world that you wouldn't believe, and I think it's going to lead to a nuclear holocaust. Now, the Obama administration can work to get additional six votes needed to avoid the use of the presidential veto. To get supermajority to overturn Obama's veto, the Republicans needed to have at least 13 Senate Democrats and 44 House Democrats to go along with them when the Congress voted on the measure. It is now hoped that the coveted nuclear deal between Iran and the six world powers will finally take concrete shape. You just heard today's commentary on Obama wins vote on Iran deal, scripted by K.V. Prasad and read by Maria Albina Michael. This is the General Overseas Service of All India Radio. Before we proceed, let's take a look at today's programs in, the, in this transmission. At, two, at zero, 24 hours IST, that is 21, 11 hours UTC, you will listen to the program Film Duet, followed by the program Igniting Minds, a radio documentary on Teacher's Day. At 300 hours IST, that is 21, 30 hours UTC, you will listen to the news, followed by the commentary at 340 hours IST, that is 22, 10 hours UTC. At 345 hours IST, that is 22.15 hours UTC, you will listen to the program The Men's World. This transmission will conclude at 400 hours IST, that is 22.30 hours UTC. This is the General Overseas Service of All India Radio. We bring you now the program, Shrizma Jeevit, on Hindi film songs. You will listen to the songs by Udit Narayan and Alka Yadmi. You're going to listen to the song Ode Chori from the film Lagan, music composer A. R. Rahman, sung by Udit Narayan and Alka Yadmi. Mm -hmm. 